Hey everybody, this is Gutsy Canuck doing another cast. Um, it's been a while since I've done a cast. It's summer, so I've been very, very busy. And I may be a little rusty this game, but otherwise, I don't know, I'm excited. So, let's just get started. A lot's happened since I last casted. Uh, there's been a couple new heroes released, like Brewmaster, uh, Trent, uh, Ogres, so hopefully we'll see, uh, at least one of those in this game, that would be nice. Uh, there's your players right there, and here goes the picking, looks like we have Venomancer and Bounty Hunter, wow, Enchantress, um, that's pretty fast, the Dyer's picking their heroes quite early so that's going to give the Radiant a bit of an advantage if they uh, pick the appropriate counters. They may not. This is all pick. This is a public game. So it's possible that may not happen. There's Ogre Magi. So we do have one of the new heroes which is great. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Okay so there's four heroes picked for the Dire. Um, Beastmaster. There's the first one for the Radiant. Looks like Beastmaster. Um, although the Dire has already picked most of their heroes at the moment, which is usually not beneficial, I think that they have a nice balance at the moment. So, we'll see. They still have one more pick, so they could pick something that would help for that. Just gonna take a look over here. There's the other pick. Brewmaster has been chosen. Uh, that's a good hero. Nice pick, they have a very balanced team, but we'll see what happens for the Radiant encounter. We've got Ancient Apparition, looks like Going Courier, uh, there's the Courier down there. Uh, Beastmaster actually doesn't have anything, almost has enough for a Ring of Health, that's probably what he's going to be buying. Uh, Sage's Mask, Tango, excuse me one sec. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so Sage's Mask, Tango, that's great. Let's check out what the items for the Dire are. Uh, there's the standard for Ogre. We've got Bounty Hunter. With standard items too. They're probably the suggested items. I even think that's su the suggested items for Brewmaster. There's the Courier. Not sure who bought that. Probably Venno by the looks of his items. And there's Dazzle. Wards. Branch, Hedris recipe, that's pretty nice. Juggernaut, nice items. Looks like it's soloing mid. This is pretty risky to do actually with Juggernaut, so it depends on what their solo mid is, which I'm not sure at the moment. I think Ogre's gonna check the rune and Brewmaster's gonna the go mid. Begins. Most people would think Brewmaster is not a good solo mid hero, but that's actually a really dangerous solo mid hero. Like, if, if you pick Brewmaster, it's a dangerous thing for the opponents. Like, they better watch out. Brewmaster is a really good soul mid, so we may see some good stuff of stuff out of him. But we've already seen Bounty Hunter, seen Venno. I think we see most of their team, so let's stick to this. I already showed you Brewmaster. Waiting for this pause to end. I'm actually going to speed it up a bit. Da, 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 da. Not finishing. A bit faster. There we go. Okay, so, um, we've seen Juggernaut, Juggernaut is made, we've got Ancient Apparition and Beastmaster bottom, here's the next hero, Pudge, uh, looks like everyone in this game really went for the suggested items of their heroes, which is great. We've got double damage on Ogre Magi, may try and initiate something, not quite sure. Bounty Hunter at top. Earthshaker is going to join him. Yeah, every every hero basically went safety items this game, which is nice to see. Uh, we'll focus on middle lane, so... First here we go. Looks like Ogre did get that first blood. I guess I should have watched that. I, I just I didn't have a feeling that anything was going to happen. It looks like we might see another situation happening. Wow! Okay, there we go. Beastmaster did get the kill, but I'm very surprised. Ogre should back out. That's low HP. Uh, no one's around to pick him off. So, looks like he's using trees, should really use some salves and stuff, if he's going to maintain that lane. There's the salves, so, 
That'll be standard. Going back to middle lane here. Um, so there you go. There was the first blood for the Dire. They also got another kill. And the Radiant managed to... Or Beastmaster managed to get that final kill. So that's good. Juggernaut. Just doing his thing. Same with Brewmaster. Sorry, just trying to... Okay, there we go. Um... So yeah, nice last hits by both of them, actually. They're doing a great job. Uh, the courier has been used for Brewmaster to get a bottle, which is very interesting. Now, the reason why I said Brewmaster is a dangerous hero, I actually totally forgot about Brewmaster being a dangerous hero for his solo mid uh, from Dota 1, so had ex I had to experience that personally the hard way myself. And... Uh, basically, the Thunderclap works really well on other melee heroes for solo mid. So, I'm pretty sure Juggernaut, although not a good solo mid hero, took the solo mid knowing that Brewmaster would. There's the Blade Fury by Juggernaut, and Brewmaster didn't get anything on Juggernaut. That's okay. I think Juggernaut was going to use that as an escape move anyways. Uh, keeping his distance, Brewmaster's going to probably go for the last hit rather than the deny. There's the... Last hit by both of them. Good job. There's another last hit right there for Brewmaster. Yes, he does manage to get that. Juggernaut tried to deny. And... Last hit by him. Looks like he's going for Juggernaut. And there's the spin. Okay, this is pretty close. We'll see who falls here. Juggernaut's getting very low in HP. I don't think... No, Brewmaster couldn't get him. Brewmaster's low in HP. Ogre gets another kill. There's a killing spree by Ogre. Wow. So, that's three kills. For Ogre, that's really... Well done. Brewmaster was low, used his bottle so that he could uh, store the haste rune, followed by more future heals. And Juggernaut, unfortunately, is going to have to deal with what he has at the moment. There's a failed attempt of a last hit. Here we go. And keeping his distance. Should be doing that, actually. Um, here comes Brewmaster. Gotta watch out for those thunderclaps. If Brewmaster thunderclaps once more, it won't be pretty. Uh, basically, what I say is... Sorry, not what I say, but what, what you should do, what most players would probably suggest you do when facing Brewmaster middle lane, if you're having trouble against Brewmaster, is try and stay away from this area. Try and stay up the hill. If you're ranged, that's really easy to do. Uh, but it makes you more vulnerable to Brewmaster's Thunderclap. So Juggernaut C, who is down here at the moment, knows that Brewmaster's going over here. Should rip is okay doing this at the moment, but if Brewmaster's present, it's best to just stay away from this area. Because it's not safe. Gonna check out what Brewmaster's doing. He's running up here. Here we go. Punch. Wow, that was quite... Oh my goodness, there's a double kill. He's gonna try and get out of there. I don't... Wow, there we go. And here's his two teammates. That was very successful. Juggernaut did manage to get the du double damage rune down here. Stores that in his bottle also, so it looks like middle has went bottle. Um, good eye on Brewmaster, actually. For noticing those two at low HP and low mana. They're going to have to be a lot more careful when it comes to... Uh, being in their lane at low HP. The haste rune, obviously helped in getting that kill. We're seeing a lot of kills down here by Ogre. Just gonna watch them for a second. Middle lane's already stranded off a bit. So... Uh, Beastmaster keeping his distance. Gonna go back to middle lane for a second. There's Juggernaut. Um, does have full mana. This is not good for Brewmaster. An alt. There's the alt. There we go. Brewmaster falls. Uh, good job on Juggernaut for waiting for him to back out. Watch those situations too. If Brewmaster stayed closer to that creep, may not have taken the full brunt of that ultimate, that Omni Slash, but it, it's all, it all depends. You gotta know what to do. Venomancer gets a kill on Beastmaster, if you could read that. Uh, I see something going on at top here, so let's see. Pudge may hook here. Nope, Dazzle is in the way. He's gonna have to move north to get that hook, and decide to fight creeps. Earthshaker could use a Fissure. Pudge trying to get those creeps. Uh, good job on the ward. That lets them know when they're doing that. There's the stun. Um, looks like we're seeing Bounty Hunter up there. There's a nice hook. Very successful hook. There's the rot. Earthshaker's in big trouble. There's the poison touch. 
And here we go, he falls. Bounty Hunter is gonna come way too late. Uh, good job for the Radiant there. They took advantage of that situation uh, very well. Dragonaut gonna keep checking the runes. They both have bottles, so they're gonna be doing that frequently. If you are not doing that, and you are solo mid and you have bottle, make sure to be doing that. <laughs> um, there's the regen rune, we'll see what happens. Probably a Blade Fury. Uh, that might have been a good chance for Brewmaster to Thunderclap. There's the Blade Fury. Brewmaster's gonna back out. Dragonaut's gonna realize he can't really catch him, so... Just gonna do minimal damage to that creep. Venomancer now has Magic Wand. We're bot at the moment. Both low in HP. This would be a good chance for Pudge to gank. He is not solo though, so we'll probably not. We'll have to wait till level 6 before he starts ganking. Venom's gonna check the rune, which is not there. Courier bringing down some mana pods. Always good to do that. Especially if you're, like, over successful enough to be buying items and the odd uh, healing item, like clarity and that. So, it's nice to do that. Uh, this ogre actually went bloodlust and fire blast, which is not the standard to go with ogres, so. But that's probably why he's getting a lot of kills. Juggernaut did fall there, I just missed that. Um, looks like a thunderclap was used. No ult, probably just a thunderclap. Got too close to Brewmaster's territory. Territory, sorry. Um, and that's basically it. If you're low mana, low HP, and you get too close to Brewmaster when he's not, uh, you're most likely going to die. So, very dangerous here. You really want to watch out for that. There's the rune. Brewmaster must have knew the timing of the runes. A lot of, a lot of players know the timing very well, so... Probably knew it was coming and decided to... Uh, wait for it. And it worked out. Pudge can't see Bounty Hunter, so we'll probably not attempt to hook. Bounty Hunter is close. They're close to the tower. They should really watch out. Especially for the maim, and the track is on him. Here we go. We're gonna see a gank. So, there goes the stun by Earthshaker. The Venomous Gale by Venomancer. There's the maim. Or Janata by Bounty Hunter. Pudge falls. And he did Welcome not manage to, to uh, death. kill himself, so... Dazzle really shouldn't be attacking, so just keep going. There we go, it looks like Venno's gonna go all the way. Maybe not. No, Venno did not succeed. That's okay, they got one kill. Uh, 410 at the moment, still anyone's game. Bottom lane, there was a lot of action at bottom lane. I really wish that I picked bottom lane this game to... Uh, but, but there were some good denies in middle lane, and not denies, sorry, last hit, so I like to watch those too, so. But it would be nice to see all those uh, early kills by Ogre, because I don't, I don't think any players are bad at the moment. I think everyone's doing a good job, it's just Ogre managed to get the better out of the situation, I don't know. Um, there's the Blink Dagger by Brewmaster. That is standard to go with him. I don't like going... No, not me. Uh, it's very standard to go Blink Dagger. There's a kill. Beastmaster does manage to get Ogre. However, we'll fall in the process. That's fine. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Oh no, that last tower hit gets him. There's the Illusion Rune used by Brewmaster. Trying to get Ancient Apparition. We'll just watch him for a sec. No backs out. There's our Shaker. Um, anyways, what I was saying was... I prefer not to get Blink Dagger, but what I'm trying to do is avoid saying that in my cast. Uh, the last couple casts I've been saying that a lot, and I do remember my motto of casting was to not be biased, and in a way saying what I think is best is biased. I know I'm a caster, I'm allowed to do that, but I try not to anyways. I try and let you make the decisions rather than me making them for you, so. I just point out what's going on basically, point out some tips, rather than what I prefer, and uh, yeah, so, hopefully I get better at doing that. We'll get back to the cast here, that is very painful for Beastmaster to experience, a lot of nukes there, some stuns, here we go, oh, so close again, Venomancer by Pudge, Pudge will fall by 
Bounty hunter, bounty hunter will also get dazzle, double kill. Check out the items. Poor man shield. Looks like going for treads, which is definitely for now. And wow! Beautiful alt by Ancient Apparition. That was a nice ice blast. That was really nice. And there's a lot of uh, people dying <laughs> at the moment. I'm missing it all. I'm trying to get as much as I can. This is a good cast, so... There we go. Low on mana, low on HP. Still sticking around, though. Juggernaut. Ooh, Pudge. Pudge could probably take advantage of that. He's checking for the runes, which will not get any. So if that... If he notices this isn't, there's no rune here, which he now does, he should really head back to base. Because although Ogre's here, I think Pudge could get the better hand of this situation. The better end, whatever. Here we go. Ogre's bloodlusted. Going to use the fire blast. Walking right into Panda. Here we go. Panda does have some more mana now uh, to use nothing. It's not needed. Here comes Ancient Apparition. That's going to hurt. Uh, I was surprised Brewmaster got the kill, especially with Ogre with the bloodlust. So yeah. Bounty Hunter invisible. This tower is getting low. There's the weave. It did hit Bounty Hunter, so he's going to want to stay uh, hidden until his teammate gets here, which we will see now. There's the main. Wind walks again. Goes in. Venomous Scale. There's the heal by Dazzle. Taking a lot of damage. Nothing by Juggernaut. Too low in mana. There's the Shallow Grave by Dazzle on himself. Venomancer is taking a lot of damage. There's another heal by him. Uh, and he manages to fall by poison anyways. And Earthshaker is here just in case the things don't work out. We're going to go to bottom. Brewmaster gets a kill against Danger and Apparition. Uh, not gonna fall here. Um, okay, just gonna ignore him. Uh, so yeah, this, this game has turned around very fast. It was not looking good to start, but it was definitely still anyone's game. Anyone could still win this. Uh, but now it's looking like the Dire is quite ahead. We'll check the KDR here for one sec. I just don't want to miss this. I think Pudge is gonna get a hook. He does have vision. This slow poison is actually really good, so Pudge should be hooking. Gets him! Wow! Runs right back into it. There we go. There's the rot. There's the ult. There's Beastmaster. Can Earthshaker get here in time? There's a nice stun. However, it does block his teammate. And oh my goodness, this is so close. Okay. Alright. That's okay. They managed to get the kill at least. I'm not trying to be biased again, but... For a second there, I thought uh, the Dire was gonna... Uh, really take advantage of that situation. Um, but in a way, Earthshaker didn't help his teammate. In a way, he did by stopping them from killing him, but he didn't by not giving him an escape. Which, there probably really wasn't an escape, so... There you go, they're gonna push this tower. Uh, no one's here. Ancient Apparition can't really go close. Just in case... He may get ganked, so he's gotta wait for others to come. There is two dire up there, two there. Got a radiant here, radiant there, radiant here. And they back out, surprisingly. He's surrounded. Sanction apparition surrounded. We got an invisible brewmaster. This may not turn out pretty. Here we go. We're gonna see a Rambo. Uh it's called a Rambo because they're taking advantage of the terrain even with a tower present, and it fails. So maybe they'll get Dazzle or Beastmaster. Here we go. They're going for Venomancer, which succeeded. Invisible, invisible. We got a lot of invisibles. And we got a lot of Radiance, so the Dire's probably going to wait on that one. When they move out a bit more, it'll be good to hit. But otherwise, they should just chill. There's another Fisher by Earthshaker. Echo Slam is on cooldown. Must have missed him use that. Does have mana boots. Earn of Shadows on Ancient Aberration, that's good. There we go, there's the stun by Ogre. Uh, this is gonna be very painful for the Beastmaster. No, it's not, Shower Grave. We got the Blade Fury by Juggernaut. Stun by Earthshaker. Bounty Hunter doing some auto-attacking, but it's working very nicely. Uh, there we go, there's the Earn of Shadows on Bounty Hunter. Dazzle's really trying to use the terrain to get away. Uh, would've looked good until he chose the wrong path. There's another stun on Ancient Aberration. And he falls to Brewmaster also. Brewmaster does have a triple kill. There's the stun on Juggernaut. Earthshaker staying at that low of HP. 
There's the blink. Nice blink. Nice hook by Pudge. Can maybe get him. There he gets Bounty Hunter. Juggernaut falls. So four of the Radiant are down for one of the Dire. Will Pudge fall? We'll see. There's another... I think that was a four step. Yes, it was. There you go. Uh, wow, I'm actually pretty surprised that Brewmaster has that. Um, that is not standard for Brewmaster. So... But there you go. It proved... Uh, beneficial for that situation. I mean, Blink and four stuff, he's gonna be traveling the map in no time. Venomancer staying at low HP. Uh, that weave successful for Dazzle and Beastmaster, but it does not hit any of the opponents. Which doesn't matter, they're backing out anyways. So, it's 10 to 27. Um, as you could see by the replay counter, not even halfway in yet, so... We don't know. I don't know. Maybe the Radiant will come back. Chances are pretty slim. But they're they're all doing good, actually. Like, both teams. I'm seeing a lot of good plays out of both teams. I'm kind of wondering, though, how Brewmaster... Like, I know he's got these two items, and I'm mentioning how effective they're doing. But I'm not really seeing Brewmaster do any key plays at this moment to obtain so many kills. And he's getting a lot, so... Yeah. Here we go. Juggernaut probably knew there was a bad guy there. Or an opponent. So backs out. Uh, at this situation, the Radiant... I mean, they're being pushed a lot, but they still... They only have one tower down. They could really be neutral creeping while they can. There's a hook. Nice hook, unfortunately. Oh, nice dust. Here we go. Not looking good for Bounty Hunter. There's the ult. Uh, there's the weave. And he falls. And if you, to any of the new, newer players that didn't notice back there for a sec, you could put the, the replay counter back of it if you want to see it. But, um, Dazzle made sure he didn't cast. He pretty much knew that they had that, had that kill. And if they didn't, he was close by to help out in case the Pudge messed up or something. But he didn't continue attacking to not KS. I mean, he didn't really KS in the first place. He did get a couple attacks in there and did the weave and everything, but he made sure that he didn't KS Pudge. So that's what you should be doing if you think you're going to KS. Don't KS them. If you think that they have the kill, just let them have the kill. Here we go. Low, it, low mana Dazzle, but Pudge does manage to use his dismember and everything. Oh my goodness, that was the perfect primal split by uh, yeah, Brewmaster. That was great. There's another kill for him. Ancient Apparition a bit late on the ult. Venomancer gets downed by Juggernaut here. Earthshaker might. Ancient Apparition gets that. Now Earthshaker is going to want to run. He is susceptible to Ogre's Fire Blast, which he could not get off. There's a Bloodlust. There's the Fire Blast and Ancient Apparition. He falls. Juggernaut lives. Dazzle. Don't know why he took that path, but she really back in. And there we go. Three for three. That was even. Uh... Juggernaut's doing really well. I'd say he's probably the best player at the moment Dyer's on the Radiance attack. team. And the best for the Dyers? Uh, I'd say Brewmaster. I mean, there's nothing really thrilling going on from him. But I do attack. like the fact that he got four staff along with the Blink Dagger. Uh, but I, I haven't found a key to his kills. We just saw that one kill, so. middle tower But it's nice. Nice that he went that. I'm kind of contradicting myself, but that's fine. Cranium Basher. Sorry. Skull Basher by Ogre. That's very impressive. So there's the... Oh, nice ult. Oh, shoot. Wrong key. Okay, there we go. That was a nice ult by Ancient Apparition, actually. Uh, he had a good one up here. He had that quick one that he left off here. It was a bit late, but... It was successful at hitting one of them. So, Ancient Apparition needs some credit. Oh, that hook needs some credit also. That stun actually manages to hit Pudge. Pudge is taking a lot of damage from his own rot, but does manage to get that kill. Which, yeah, um, Dazzle's trying to run out. I'm trying to watch both areas. Dazzle's gonna fall. Let's get back over here. Okay, Pudge is running. Beastmaster's running. Beastmaster could probably stay a bit. Ancient Apparition staying. That's probably not gonna be good. Uh, Venomous Gale, almost done on cooldown. We do have a Fire Blast probably coming in. There's the Gale, there's the Fire Blast, there's the Blink, there's the Thunderclap. Um, I'd say they had that. Oops, sorry. Um, 
Nice all by Juggernaut. Perfect timing. None of the creeps were around. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I. Eh, whatever. I. I. No, not I figure, but like that. That thunderclap was probably not necessary from Brewmaster. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Did use his primal roar. I think I'd be saying primal shout. Whatever. So there we go, 32 to 16. The Radiant has been catching up, or at least maintaining ground against the Dire, but the Dire is in the lead. They are slowly gaining. Nice hook by Pudge, I'm seeing some nice hooks by Pudge. There we go, lots of damage. Weave, he's getting out there, that's low HP. There we go, Dazzle manages to get him with the Poison Touch. Uh, looks like Venno is trying to run. Ugh, I missed that, Bounty Hunter kills Dazzle. Uh, there's a hook unsuccessful. He's gonna back out, and bounty hunter's gonna stay. All right, let's uh, do a recap on. Uh, there's the Erdon Pudge, but let's do a recap on the teams. I was saying that Juggernaut was doing the best on the Radiant, but I'm really liking Pudge's hooks now. I'm also liking um, Ancient Apparitions alts. They're getting better and better. I don't know what Venno is doing. Radiance I don't see Aegis. <laughs> Roshan has me touched. Wow, that is very close. Maybe Ancient Apparition could get an alt off. We'll see. There he is. Does have the alt. Unfortunately, Venno did a great job of... Uh, well, it doesn't matter. He was set to these two as targets. But Venno fallen. took this way. Just to make sure he's safe. There goes Juggernaut. Probably was going to try an alt. Can't grab him. There we go. Yeah. His ult was coming, probably could have. Nice deep. Uh, that was probably not intentional, but it was still nice. There's the ult by Juggernaut. Oh, Primal Split! I think that pretty much just cancelled it. That totally sucks. Here we go. Lots of damage. Brewmaster's doing a ton of damage with those, uh, Ancestor thingy the jigs there. And da 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 Ogre's running, taking a lot of damage from the creeps and Juggernaut. There's Pudge. Let's see a hook. Err, no, misses. Too late. That's fine. Ancient Apparition falls. Track on Pudge. So yeah, like in Pudge, like an Ancient Apparition, like in Juggernaut. Dazzle's doing okay, but you're really not gonna see amazing plays from Dazzle because he has support. So yes, I'm contradicting myself, but I'd say both teams have done really well at the moment. Really balanced game in terms of effort put in, not in terms of like at the moment it's balanced because it's not, but. Yeah. Uh, who do I like on this? The Dire. Like, I already said Brewmaster, but who else? Seem pretty standard out of Venno. Bounty Hunter, I mean... <laughs> no offense, it's really hard to congratulate a Bounty Hunter. I mean... It's really easy to do successful with him. Face Boots. It's interesting. Ogre. Ogre's been doing okay, but he's a nuker, so we'll see. Nice. Blade Fury by Chuckanaut to escape with. Unfortunately, I don't think there was a... Actually, if Juggernaut took this way, I mean, Ogre was coming late in that situation, so if Juggernaut took this way instead, which would have been the normal, natural reaction, he he might have lived that, because I'm sure that stun wouldn't have hit him otherwise. So, there you go. Another important decision that had to be made there. There's the Bloodlust. Ogre is a bit low in HP. Mithril Hammer, I'm thinking he's gonna go for... Uh, I have no clue, actually. Yolner? No? Not sure. Okay, so here we go. There's the alt by... No, not alt, sorry. Thunderclap by Brewmaster. These four are chasing Dazzle. This is not gonna be... Uh, this is not gonna look good. There's the alt by Ancient Apparition. Does manage to hit Ogre. Ogre! Being low on H... Uh, Maelstrom, yeah, he's going for Mjolnir. Mjolnir, whatever. This is... Alright. I'm actually not seeing a whole lot going on with Beastmaster, other than his Quill Beast, or Greater Boar, sorry, and uh, his Scout Hawk, which is somewhere. I saw it somewhere, whatever. Okay, so we all head back down here. Earthshaker falls. Impressive by Ancient Apparition. Bounty Hunter is going to try and get the kill. 
It's really trying here. <laughs> Come on, Beastmaster. Where's your ult? There we go. There's a savior ult. And wow, I, that was a nice salt by Ancient Apparition, actually. I'm liking this Ancient Apparition's ult. It's quick reaction time. And that is an absolute must for Ancient Apparition, but the majority of players you will see do not have that with this hero. Um, so if you get one that has that quick reaction time, that's a really good thing. Quick reaction works with any hero, obviously, but Ancient Apparition, like, you saw that, you saw that ult, that was just, I mean, one ability, one ability, just bam, one HP, not one HP, low HP, uh, the ult, like, that was really, really fast. A lot of thinking went on during, uh, that encounter. Shadow Blade by Venomancer now has an escaping move, so we will probably see less deaths from him and maybe more kills if he plays like Ursa. These three are staying uh, more like a team, like staying together. When you're losing, it's best to really stick together. That's That should be almost enhanced. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, Ancient Aberration had to initiate that fight. Living, living at the moment. Oh, nice Venomous Gale. Er, er, uh, not Venomous Gale. Poison Nova by Venom. So, that was really good. Unfortunately, the Radiant are gonna be not succeeding. Oh, that was such a close hook. No, there we go. That's a good ult by Beastmaster. And here we go, Brewmaster. He's gonna have to rock, 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 rock. Oh, just couldn't get that rod off. Remember, it's always best to rot yourself when you're low HP rather than let the opponents get the kill. They still get gold and EXP and everything, but not as much or something like that, so... I don't know what this... Okay, this ogre is foreign, so... I don't know what he's saying. Hopefully it's nothing inappropriate. It doesn't matter, I can't understand it, so that's important. Um, there was the mana boots used by Earthshaker. Ogre bloodlusting again. That multicast is working pretty nicely. There we go. Uh, Boink only hits Earthshaker with that alt with the ice blast. Weave was used there, which is nice. It hit one of them. But Dazzle falls really fast. There's the Blade Fury running away. There's the track on Ancient Apparition. Wow, there's a lot of foreign talk going on. I was pretty sure this was uh, a North American game, but. Whatever, that doesn't matter. We're seeing nice plays here, that's all that matters. Um, hook, miss, nice deke by Bounty Hunter. When it comes to hooking with Pudge, you, a lot of people say, like, hook ahead, like, to where they're going, but, like, that's really hard to predict. It's almost best to hook where you think they're gonna deke. So, where you hook, like if he's here, and you think he's gonna move up here, so you're gonna hook here, it's almost best to think where he's gonna deep. There's a nice hook. Fortunately, there's three teammates helping us, so we'll see, yeah. Doesn't even put a dent in. Nice ult, let's see if he gets some kills there. Ogre just fell right there. Uh, Brewmaster's gonna teleport. Oh my goodness, there's another kill. Great ult by Ancient Apparition. Juggernaut was doing good. He's doing good at saving his teammates now. I'm gonna bump Ancient Apparition ahead of Juggernaut. I'd say Ancient Apparition is the best player on the team at the moment. In terms of effort and uh, success and everything, yeah. So here we go. I'll just watch Bounty Hunter. He's getting hurt by Urna Shadows. Does have the dust on him. Does have the weave. Weave is finished. There's a nice slow by Ancient Apparition. Uh, unfortunately, they can't see him anymore. So he's just gonna... He's like, eh. Might as well do some attacks. Why not? Just gonna win walk again. Staying close by. Possibly pick one of these guys off. Waiting, waiting, lots of mana. Waiting for that cooldown to finish. Probably might attack. But this ancient apparition does have some quick reflexes. Uh, so wanna watch out for that. Beastmaster buying mechanism. Err, sorry, I'm still an ancient apparition. I was gonna say, that's a support item. Hood, still working on that hood. Has Vanguard, has phase boots, that's alright. That's pretty normal. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the Radiant here. Let's focus on the Dire. It's because the Dire is winning. I don't want to focus on them too much. Because we'll, we will be seeing a lot of them. Let's check out Earthshaker's items. Ultimate Orb. Not sure. Probably going Lincoln's or something. 
That looks like Scepter to me. Point Booster? Yeah, because Scepter's pretty good with him. Desolator, nice. There's the Lincoln Spear. Ogre, neutral creeping. Bloodlust goes really good with Skull Basher. Obviously, lots of attack speed, you should be getting Skull Basher and you know, Sanji and Yasha, stuff like that. Here we go, they're all gonna push. They at least want this tower. So here we go, we got all five of them. This is what you this is what you wanna be doing when you're losing a game. You wanna stay together, you wanna get a lot of creeps, get a lot of stuff going, and keep staying together. Look at that poison over. That is just I mean he's gonna fall, but that was a great poison over. Double kill by Juggernaut. There's the Thunderclap. Dazzle, not enough for Shallow Grave. Quomp, quomp, quomp. in the process. Here we go. Uh, we got the Ember Spirit and the Earth Spirit and the Thunder Air Spirit. I think it's Air. Bounty Hunter gets a Godlike. Let's see what happens here. I want to see some abilities used by uh, the Pandas. I mean, you should be seeing the stun. The Hurl Boulder by the Earth Panda, like, all the time. So, Pudge just ended Bounty Hunter. Look at that. Um, here we go. We'll see what happens here. There's the drunk. And, what the? I have no clue what just happened there. But that was a nice teleport, I guess. I think he teleported. That was nice. Um, yeah, drunken haze. Drunken brawls is passive. Uh, that's another thing. Like, if you're going standard, you would go thunderclap, drunken brawler for... Brewmaster, but early game it's actually really good to get at least a level one or level two drunken haze because Dyer's the the miss the miss attack. chance is really good. So um, definitely Dyer's consider that if attack. you try out Brewmaster. Consider the mid solo. It's not good to go mid solo against range heroes, even though they're more fragile. But if you, if they're really melee heavy, or you know they're gonna go melee because you're brewmaster, uh, definitely go solo mid. You're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of good chances of getting kills there. Demon Edge, Ring of Aquila. Uh, who haven't we really looked at? Dazzle. We haven't looked at Dazzle. So still running the headdress. I, I thought. Oh no, Ancient Aberration had mechanism recipe. Uh, so we're gonna have two support items and heroes on the team, like two mechanisms. It's probably only good to go one, so coordinate with your team as best as you can. That's obviously not the reason why they lost this, but it's good to do that. They were obviously trying to gank Venno, but Venno clearly, uh, that, that Shadow Walk by the Shadow Blade definitely got the better of them. Courier just doing its job, let's see, yep, mechanism. So we now have two mechanisms on the team. Like I said, didn't cost them the game, but probably wasn't a good choice to go. Here we go. This Juggernaut has some good uh, reaction times by by the Blade Fury. Like, has an escape mechanism. Unfortunately, he's gonna now use his ult. That is way too many points to be using the ult on. So here we go. Punch it down. They're all down, basically. It's Beastmaster and Juggernaut. Juggernaut's down. It's just Beastmaster. And he was just chilling. But he knew if he went in there, he would have died. Nice pipe of insight. Those are better items. We'll always have these ones, but it's good to see pipe of insight. They're going to push. Especially since Beastmaster is nowhere near to defend. Really can't defend. But does have that alt to help pull them off. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. Obviously, they're waiting for the next creep batch. Which is not going to happen for a while, so. We just do it. Now, in the Radiance current situation, they are going to want to gather. And knowing that these creeps aren't here yet. Uh, by the time they all revive, those creeps will be here. So, they're going to want to gather, hold off, and hopefully Pudge could hook one of them. Now, when it comes to hooks, if Pudge hooks one of them, like right around here or around here, they're going to come in, because it's not that far from walking out and being safe. It's still dangerous to the Dire, but they're going to come in, and they're going to try and save their teammate, and that will give them an initiation. That was a fail hook. Um... And they don't really want to do that. So what they want to do, uh, we might see a blink up here. I'm not sure. But what they want to do 
is Pudge needs to stay more here, here, and here, which will give him less hook range, probably about to here. But if he can hook them like that, it's not much of a distance, but it's enough that not all of them will probably initiate. So, see, he, he kind of did it there, like right there. Only a few of them might, and if they do that, they will either back out noticing all of them did do it, or they'll all go in. But in most in most scenarios, that won't happen. Like, look here, he gets them, they're all gonna come right to his rescue, see? There's the blink in and stuff. Um, so there we go, Ogre kills Beastmaster. There's the Echo Slam by Earthshaker, here they come. There's the Tornado by the Pandas, that's great. Ancient Apparition, boom, falls, Dazzle, boom, falls, there we go, Pudge falls, Earthshaker falls. So, three for five. It's not bad. Uh, um, so yeah, as I was saying with Pudge, it's good to stay back here. When hooking, it gives you less hook range, but if you hook, it's most likely that the opponents are not going to go in and try and save, because this little distance doesn't seem like much. But to the mind, it, uh, it, like, it, I've been in this situation, many people have, I've experienced it a lot, people, it just, like, for some reason makes them not want to save their teammates as much, if that makes any sense, so. There you go, they're pummeling those racks. There's another bloodlust, that's kind of glitchy how ogres, like, like, Brewmaster, you can kind of see the action, ogres just do it, Uh, their tower's being pushed at top, someone could teleport there. Ogre's gonna teleport back. Brimax is gonna get out of there, deeks that all, and he's bye-bye. There's the scepter. Um, check out items. Du -du 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 -du. A lot of support. Boots of travel by Pudge, not bad. Doesn't have that hide, but does have that cloak, so. That does go good with his, uh, I don't want to check it. I know what it's called. Fleshy? Oh, yeah, it is Fleshy. Okay. So, yeah. Fleshy. Good to get a cloak. Better to get a hood. But, whatever goes good for you. Hmm. Vlad's. That's a late Vlad's. Call it. Might it be nice to go Helm of the Dominator with him? Oh, no. Sorry. I forgot about his main. Sorry, Vlad's. Or his Janata. So, yeah, Vlad's is good. I just don't even bother with lifesteal with, uh, Bounty Hunter. Roshan myself. Which, ignore that because it doesn't matter what I do, it matters what the majority does. Or what the pros do and stuff. Um... Wow, that was nice. Nice four stat, or length or whatever. There we go. Pudge did manage to kill himself there, so that's good. In a sense. And that is a lot of Radiant dying, there we go, I don't even know what the abilities are going on here, but there's a four staff by him, there's the Thunderclap, and there goes Ancient Apparition. Liking that four staff even more. The more I see it, the more I like it, so. Five down, it's 32 to 63. Almost double, and this is late in the game. I'm actually surprised this game went this late, like, we're hitting 43 minutes, it's almost over, so. You pretty much know who's going to win now. Uh, if not, yes, I did spoil that. In a way, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet, so we'll see. But yeah. MKB, that's nice. That's a nice item for Venno. I've actually not been seeing that a lot in, uh, in Dota 2. I mean, you pretty much always see that in Dota 1, but I've played my fair share of Dota 2 games, and I haven't seen that a lot, so like to see that. And da -da -da -da. Booking it with the haste rune. Sorry, the phase boots. Sacred Relic is on the map. And Earthshaker just got four staff. And four staff again. Who's doing that? I Okay, someone on this team must have four staff. Because I know he, yeah, he's only got one. Who, who has the other one? Oh, he has blink. Guess he blinked, I Spory four stuff. Here we go. That's pretty brave of Bounty Hunter. Uh, but Brewmaster manages to get that kill. Huck. Yoink. Bounty Hunter. I... Okay, yeah. Aegis. That's cool. I, I didn't know they changed that emote. So here we go. Uh, a lot going on. There's the stun on Dazzle. Uh, one of those spirits dies, but the other two are still alive. Let's check them out. 
Thorn Spear Earth. He's still got a stun by him. And Venom's at low HP. They're all down, so they're just... They're probably gonna end it right here. He's just sticking around, trying to get some more kills. There's the BKB. Very good item. That's actually really nice items by Older. The Majolder's nice. Um, okay, yeah, got Pro BKB. Alt was used by him, checking the items. Where is Earthshaker? No, that's Benno. No, it's gonna fall. I can't find Earthshaker. Oh well. He's up here. But whatever. No, he's dead. <laughs> okay, so there's your game. See what happens down here. Ooh, Bounty Hunter falls. He lives. And that's the end of the game. Um. So, hope you liked it. Feel free to send me mini clip replays. I mentioned that in my last mini clip video. And hopefully, I get more casts in because. It's been a long time since I did a cast, so here you go. Um, subscribe, tell your friends about me, yada, yada, yada. And yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time.